Okay, sixth grade, lesson 74. Um, okay, so what we're looking at today is writing fractions as decimal numbers. Okay, so write this on your paper. Okay, a while ago we converted decimals into a fraction. Now we're converting fractions into decimals. Do you remember how I told you how to do that? In decimals into fractions or fractions into decimals? Fractions into a decimal. Kind of. Okay. One divided by four. So that's exactly what we're going to do. One divided by four. But will four go into one? No. So do you remember what to do here? You had decimals at the end of every number even if you can't see it? Yeah. Okay. We would add zeros. So it's ten. Okay. So four will go into ten. Two times. Two times. Two times four is eight. Minus three and two. Three. Add another zero. Bring it down. Four goes into twenty five times. Five times four is twenty. That ends it, okay? Bring my decimal up. For a fourth is point twenty five as a decimal number. Feel like you get it? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's look at one more. Okay. Okay. Write this one on your paper. Seven and two fifths. Now, seven is a what? What kind of number? Whole number. Whole number. Two fifths is a what? Fraction. Okay. So is it fair for me to go seven point? No. Kind of. Because this is a whole number. This is a fraction which can be turned into a decimal. Yeah. Okay? So, do I have to do anything to the seven? No. No. But I do need to do something to the two fifths to make this part into a decimal number because that's what we're doing. We're taking mixed two numbers. Two divided by five, right? Okay. So, two divided by five, I can't do anything. So, what do I do? Point zero. You add a z point because that's there even if you can't see it. We're going to add a zero. Very good. Will five go into 20? Yep. Four times. Five times four is 20. That ends it, bring my decimal up, 0.4. So two fifths is what? 7.4. 7.4. Two fifths is 0.4, 7.4. 7.4. Got it? That is lesson 74.